a new world, new life, new career, new country, new people, and new shoes. Everything was new to me. I still look back on all the happy changes in my life that the journey made me the person I am today. It all started in my home country, Sri Lanka. After finishing my high school, I was incredibly excited to be accepted to the Fine Arts University of Jaffna. I felt like a fluttering butterfly. I would follow my dreams and to be a classical dancer. Immediately, I got my salangai, metallic bells, I wear barefooted when I dance. They were giving to me my parents and blessed by my guru. I took them to the shrine room and prayed with them. Unfortunately, this happiness didn't last long. That very year, the civil war in Sri Lanka began. The bombings, shellings, shooting, and curfews. Little did I know that it would be changed my future. My parents refused to let me attend the university. I argued with them for weeks. I couldn't stop crying. But finally, I realized that I have to choose between my ambition and my safety. I decided to change my plans. I went to the polytechnic. I learned to typewrite 90 words per minute. I learned Pitman Shodan. Soon after, I got a job at a Delman hospital as a stenotypist. For in my new job, I bought new shoes and a new handbag. As I walked down the streets of Vallavatta, I felt very proud to start the, this new chapter and to wear my brand new pair of high heel shoes. They made a sound like talk, 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 talk. <laughs> At work, they were new people and new language. Every month after I got my salary, I would buy a new pair of high heel shoes from the famous Colpity shoe shop. Black, brown, white, printed, dark navy blue, and more. My parents indulged me because they knew I was still sad. Delman Hospital had a smooth marble floors. You could hear a pin drop. Occasionally, I heard lab reports. Then I had to go to the third floor. I couldn't use the elevator. Only the patients and their families could. So I woke up the stairs in my heels. They made a sound, talk, 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 talk. Around the same time, my parents arranged my wedding. When I first saw my husband, I immediately thought to myself, I need to wear killer heels. <laughs> because how tall he was. So for the day of my engagement, I bought a new pair of shiny golden high heel sandals. After our marriage, my husband sponsored me to Canada. When I arrived at Pearson Airport, I brought my whole collection of my high heel shoes. After my arrival, I realized that everyone else wore boots. <laughs> but only when I absolutely need them, most often I still wore heels. After a couple of years, I got pregnant, and then something shocking happened. My husband threw out my entire high heel shoe collection. The shoes I bought with so much excitement, he said they were unsafe. But I couldn't last long without my heels. So soon after, I went to the mall to buy more. <laughs> it was not like Colpity Shoe Shop here in Canada. 
It's very hard to find high heel shoes for my small shoe size. I had settled for mid heeled. <laughs> to this day, I never leave the house without wearing heels. They give me confidence because I'm short. It reminds me of my past. Although many things changed, I'm still the same person. Thank you.